You mentioned uh, Paracelsus um, and his being aware that uh, ether would knock out chickens. And I suppose uh, it would require an invention there to turn that into anesthesia because you've got to put together the idea that if you're unconscious, you're not going to feel pain. But there was an earlier example, I think, of a true discovery in this area that was never taken up. And that was with um, uh, Humphrey Davy, working with nitrous oxide 40 years before all of this, in about 1802, 1803, something like that. And uh, he noticed, he was doing experiments with nitrous oxide, and he had a pretty severe toothache, and he noticed that it disappeared, and he wrote this down and published it. And it didn't really get picked up for 40 years. Of course, he was not a medical man, he was not in practice, but the observation was there, and that was a true discovery of anesthesia that went begging for half a century. Uh, you are absolutely right. Your knowledge is very impressive. He worked at the Pneumatic Institute in Bristol, and he did make some nitrous oxide. He did make those observations, and he too didn't quite get to the, uh, the, the, the eureka moment. I think I'm also right in, uh, in uh, uh, saying that he was also working with, with what was called deflagisticated air. So he would make air without the oxygen, and he replaced it with carbon dioxide. And actually, if you give carbon dioxide in a high enough concentration to animals or human beings, they go to sleep. So there were these observations. I've picked out a few of them. But I think all over the world, there were little bits of opportunities where nitrous oxide or ether or chloroform could, somebody could have made that mental leap. But of course, it was completely counterintuitive in those days that you could actually send somebody off to sleep. But even that isn't true, because if you go back to AD 130, a Chinese surgeon actually was giving general anaesthetics with a mixture of morphine and mandrake and hyacinth. So in fact, in parts of the world, there were attempts to sedate uh, patients to the, almost to the level of anaesthesia. There were discoveries, but it seemed to sit there for centuries until perhaps Crawford W. Long, who can say which of those people in the 19th century? So good knowledge, you're absolutely right, sir.